Hello, thanks for joining us in this quick video where we will highlight um, some work we did with CANS data that was recently published in the Children and Youth Services Review. Basically, what, uh, what we did is the CANS is a tool that's the most popular measurement tool in the system of care in the United States. Uh, and we did a quick back of the envelope uh, analysis. It seems there's a possibility of about 1.9 million CANS done a year. Uh, that's a lot of data, so to sift through it, we're going to need to use machine approaches is what we're arguing. And uh, we are here to uh, highlight we, uh, an innovative model we found for making sense of CANS data using machine learning. Uh, the basic method is we analyzed over 7,000 CANS from 3,385 children who participated in Pennsylvania's Medicaid-funded Behavioral Health Rehabilitation Services program called BHRS. And we have separate models because this program treats children who are on the spectrum and not on the spectrum. So because of the significant differences in these populations, we're going to show two different models that were developed using the similar analytic approach. Okay, so here is the basic uh, machine learning process that we use. Can we predict at time point one who will show improvement in care uh, in this particular level of care? So first we pre-process the data. We keep only the initial and the most recent time points so we can see the change between those time points. We subdivide into different age bands. And of course, as I said, we separate ASD from non-ASD. And then we train the model. Um, we say, hey, uh, we take just 70% of the data that we have and we have a machine look at the probability, continue to run different scenarios of first time point cans to predict the status at a second time point. Um, uh, we also did a tenfold cross-validation to make sure there was there weren't any biases hidden in our data. So we, we send this um, what's actually called a gradient boosting classifier. That's the kind of machine learning model we use. We send that into 70% of our data in all sorts of different ways in these 10 different uh, ways to make sure that we're not finding any irregularities in the, in the data that's biasing us. And we're able to then predict uh, profiles at the next time period. Once we get a gradient boosting classifier that can do that, we then need to unpack because it's not just enough to have a computer say, yes, I can guess who's going to get better or worse, but we need to know why it's guessing that so we can look at the profiles, have experts look at the profiles, and make sure that we're looking at something real and not just um, some computer uh, sort of noise. Uh, so when we do that, our gradient boosting classifier, we focused on optimizing precision, um, which in, in, for more classically statistics-oriented people is called positive predictive value, but it basically means that um, there's a 70% success rate of the of the algorithm and saying, hey, this profile, this person's going to probably succeed. And we got a 70% when they are diagnosed with ASD and 79% when they're not diagnosed with ASD. So, so then using the interpretability framework, we are now able to say, well, hey, um, clients without ASD that have this particular school achievement score, this particular resiliency, which is a strength, and this particular living situation score, these members had a very high improvement rate and this is the amount of people who actually match that profile. So we're able to find these interesting, clinically meaningful groups that um, improved in the program. Concluding remarks, um, machine learning predicted improvement in community behavioral health treatment program. Uh, we found unique client profiles for children with and without autism spectrum disorder. And uh, fundamentally, the CANS decision support can be improved using machine learning. We can help make good decision support when we analyze our data and know who does well at various programs. So thank you very much for your time. If you have any questions, please reach out to us.